Do you know the best and easiest way to self-recover a flipped over kayak? And it's not jump on and grab it because these big kayaks are so wide you may not be able to climb over the top. Just check out what this guy experienced in this short extract from his video. I want to thank the Destination Fishing Channel for putting up a great video on the difficulty of recovering a big wide kayak using the lunge method. It's full of other fantastic lessons learned. Watch it. He eventually discovered the technique I'm going to show you here because he was able to grab a rope hanging off the far side of his kayak and flip it over. And that's where we are today with the flip line technique. Now I'm not an expert, I'm just a guy who's done some research and, and has practiced and I'm going to practice again today to show you the technique. And there are two ways to do the flip line. One is to put it over the top of the kayak. The other is to put it underneath the kayak. My perspective as an amateur is you would never want to put it underneath the kayak because of all the stuff that's going to be hanging down on a flipped over kayak. You got your rod holders, you got rods on leashes, you got all sorts of stuff. And as soon as you start going underwater, even with a PFD, to try and grab a flip line and pull it up underneath the kayak, you're just getting yourself into all sorts of dangerous trouble. So let me show you what I've learned in terms of kayak recovery using the overhand flip line. Well, you flipped your kayak and you're hanging off the side of it. And so here's the problem with the lunge and reach over. It's hard to get over to this side and get a grip on anything. And you're going to slip and slide depending on how wide your kayak is. So the better approach is to grab your stand-up assist rope in the front and use it as a flip line. Let me demonstrate. I unhook the stand-up assist rope I have, and I'm going to hook it to my handle on this side. If you don't have a handle, you can probably do it on one of your uh, rod mounts or on your seat or something. But then I'm going to take the rope and throw it over the top. Once I have it over the top, I'm going to grab the handle with two hands. I'm going to put my feet up against this side of the boat. And basically, I'm just going to push with my feet while I hold the handle. And the boat's going to rotate over very easily. Let's look at that again in slow motion. Now the boat's right side up, and I can skinny my way back in. Now is when I'd grab my pump and check out if I'd got any water in either of the hatches and pump that out. One of the things I learned doing that flip line practice with this new kayak, new to me, is that I need a stronger carabiner for my stand-up assist rope. This one was rated at 150 pounds and flipping that big heavy kayak uh, bent it. So I need to upgrade maybe to 300 pounds to make sure that I can do a flip on the kayak and not have my stand-up assist rope fail me. I need to make one critically important point. Before you do any practice on recovery, be sure you're not doing it by yourself. Have someone else there spotting for you in case you get into trouble. Even if you're doing it in a pool like I did, be sure you have your PFD on. You just don't know what can happen. So you can see how much easier it is to use the flip line to rotate the kayak back to the top where you can easily get back into it and pump out any water that ends up inside the kayak if your hatches happen to be open. So, I'm not, again, I'm not an expert, but this seems to work for me. And if you haven't practiced getting back into your kayak once you flip, you know, that's probably a good thing to do. What are your comments? Do you have a better way to recover, self-recover one of these big, heavy boats? I mean, my drive unit here weighs 20 pounds by itself. That's a heavy boat. The whole boat is 120 pounds. Put it in the comments. Thanks.